Hey guys, I'm going to tag some people, see if anybody is going to pop on. Tag your team members, tag your people. I know it's right now in the middle of the day, but it is what it is. Um, I just finished up a training on the booking boot camp, and I felt like I was like super nervous and rambling, and I feel like it wasn't a very good training, but it's okay. Tag your team members. Let me know if you're watching, and I'm going to get started here in just a second. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go over this super, super quick because I know that um, my friend Camilla shared a little bit about this and I wanted to go ahead and share what I'm doing with it too. Yes, girl. Yes, Anna, I'm just getting them done. Getting them done because it's stuff that's been on my list. Okay, so this is called a payday party pack and all this is is a little smell proof um, Mylar bag. I ship it in this. I use a heat sealer, but you can also use a hair straightener to do this. These right here, guys, are testers that I made from popular bars. Do not feel like you need to go do that, though. If you're a seasoned consultant and you've been around for a while, you probably have a bunch of testers that are laying around not out in parties because they're ones that um, maybe from last season and you're just like mixing and matching. So don't feel like you have to make any testers. You can use whatever you have or I, these are just like um, cosmetic containers. Actually, I think these are the jewelry containers and I just melted a couple bars and made some testers because I'm not worried about getting these back. I'm not gonna ask for these back. Why? because it's just not worth it to me if I'm shipping this. These may go to local people, but for the most part, I'm not gonna ask for these back. I'm gonna tell them they have a qualifying party. It's um, my gift to them. Now, I'm not, I may not tell them that up front, but I'll just say, hey, when you have a qualifying party, you get to keep all those testers, so that means you get to warm that wax, blah, 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 okay? So when I say that it's a payday party pack, this is what my little form says. Number one, someone gets to be the hostess to gather the orders and claim all of the awesome rewards that you get. So I am targeting like an office, like a dentist office or somewhere where there's just like a bunch of people in like one gathered space. I guess it really doesn't matter, but that's kind of what my envision, what I envisioned it to be. Number two, take these testers and share them with your coworkers, friends, and family. They may even be yours to keep. So I would tell them, have a qualifying party. Number three, let them sniff and order their favorites. Number four, once you reach 200 in orders pre-tax, you can start picking rewards. A $500 pre-tax bulk order gets you the best rewards. Um, number five, keep sharing the scents and gathering orders until, until payday. Someone will rack up the rewards. Okay, so that is perfect for people who like to close parties on paydays. So you tell them you can keep this for a week or two weeks whenever your next payday is. I, like I said, I really only like to do things for about a week now because two weeks is too long and people forget about it and then they're wondering when their money's gonna be taken out if you don't do the electronic payment option. But that is my vision for that. I am gonna upload one without my information on it so you guys can see it. Now, in this, because this is one that I'm not, ex like, not wanting to get back, all of this isn't laminated like my normal parties are. This is just a little form that says get paid for your party and explain here's how. You gather orders, pick your kit, fill out your info, and that's it. I do the hard work. And then I tell them what happens next. That I always have something like this in there because 
get paid for your party, that grabs their attention. And that is a touch point for asking them if they're interested in joining because this is in their face. Okay. I do just a little introduction of who I am with a QR code to my website so they can go to the clearance section, see what our personal specials are, or see what the specials are this month, etc. Um, I get this is just a little wish list sheet. When I get this payday party pack to my host, I ask them to send me their wish list. So after they go through a catalog, I want them to tell me what their wish list is so that I can help guide them and hostess coach them to get all of those things. Good hostess coaching and knowing what they want and giving them ideas and words to say is key, guys. Our job isn't just to give them this and walk away and expect them to have a bomb party because if that were the case, then they need to join. Our job is to help them with verbiage. And I think sometimes that's where people are missing the mark. You need to be intentional and you need to be touching base and asking them and all the things, okay? So that's a wish list. This is just an example of an order form, how it's filled out because the shipping and the tax and all that stuff, um, I make sure that I get them to fill out all of the contact information. I have this for electronic payment options where they can scan these if, you're, if their people does, don't wanna do card info. Shipping quick tips, all of these things are just what's in my normal bag parties. Um, and then I'll include probably a scratch, maybe a scratch and sniff, and then a catalog, maybe two catalogs. And that's it. Simple, right? So this can even just be for, it doesn't even have to be a payday party pack. You can just call it, uh, some of these were actually like kits. So this was what I had originally thought about doing is letting them just take these classic smells and try and earn their kit for free. And if they didn't earn their kit for free, that was fine. They could still join if they wanted to, or um, they could just host their party. So this is also, I know some people had asked me about what was in my trial pack. That's what's in my trial pack. It's just this. I just take out the payday um, party thing. I just give them something like this that they can keep. If you want to get it back, you can. But this is how they could try out being a consultant before actually joining. So remember guys, if you have somebody that is interested in the opportunity, but they're not sure if they're gonna be successful or they're just second guessing themselves, get them a, to host a party and decide then. Because sometimes it's really, it, it is really scary to join, especially if you don't know if everybody is gonna support you or all of that different stuff. Give them something like this, okay? And if you just started, do not go and make testers. Don't. Give them some scratch and sniff stuff or let these be borrow bags to where you get your testers back. I never want you to spend family money on Scentsy, okay? But um, I know somebody will ask. I'll tell you the scents that I made and why. I made um, Blue Grotto, Sunkiss Citrus, Amazon Rain, Mystery Man, Luna, Lemon Verbena, Jammy Time, Clothesline, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Aloe Water, and Cucumber, Sea Salt, Avocado. I don't remember if I said that already. Why did I make those? Because those are fragrances that a lot of products come in. A lot of products come in, okay? And then if they want, if I wanted to give them new releases, I could either put some samples in there or we have the scratch and sniff stickers. If I'm going to make testers like this, I'm going to make it in something that can last me more than one season because these were actually made in the fall, but I had some left over that never got out. So now I can just repurpose them on to get paid for your party, payday party tax, whatever. If I were doing this as a newer consultant, I would probably only do five cents and then a scratch and sniff sticker, like scratch and sniff's new releases sticker pack. Does anybody have any questions? Be creative, guys. If what you're doing isn't working, try something new. That doesn't mean that, um, that doesn't mean that it has to be perfect. Perfection doesn't get you anywhere. Try being not perfect and fix it as you go right? And tweak it as you go. 
Nobody is an expert in anything, honestly. I learn things every single day from you guys, from other consultants. Um, but just remember, I just don't want people to see that I made testers and they go and spend all this money because that is not what I want you to do. But I got the bars completely for free. So I didn't pay anything for the bars. And then I just melted them down into these little containers. And I'm going to be honest, if I could go back, I probably would get the smaller ones. Let me see if I have, hold on just one second. Yeah. So if I could go back, I probably would have bought these. So these really are the, um, cosmetic like lip gloss containers. They're much smaller. Well, they're, they're not as deep and you could get a lot more out of it. Um, I think these come 50 to a pack and that would be a whole lot more cost efficient and you could make a whole lot more and it would probably ship cheaper. This is what I put my sugar scrub samples in. I put it in that little container and then I just put this on there right there. Okay, so remember you can buy fragrance testers individually on your workstation. So you could type in Luna fragrance tester, um, but those are a dollar a piece and that can add up really quick. So do whatever your budget works for or can do. And I wanna see some payday party packs going out or some Erna kits. These were like trial consultant kits. I will sh make sure that the files are shared with y'all, and I hope this was helpful. Love y'all. Have a great day.